Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. This is a series where I show you tutorials things you might not know how to build. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a cinematic camera. I made this tutorial so that you could make videos that look professional and cinematic. I use the cinematic camera in movies like the tragedy of the Titanic, the sinking of the aquatic, and other videos too. These are the materials that you will need to make the cinematic camera. Now without further ado, let's get started. Note here that I type a density of 0.58, but as soon as I press enter, it turns into a density of 0.57. This is what your cinematic camera should look like when it's finished. Now that we're done, we can go ahead and test it. As you can see, it's perfectly stable. It doesn't tilt to the front or back or anything like that unless you command it to do so. I'm going to change the camera view to the cinematic camera. You can do this by pressing C or by clicking the camera button on the bottom left of your screen. To make it look more cinematic, 
click on the settings icon on the bottom right of your screen. After that, you can see many options, but the one we will be focusing on is photo mode. You can set a number of keys in a combination to go into photo mode. Personally, I like to use this key combination of left shift and B. Press these two buttons at the same time to go into photo mode. As you can see, it looks much better with all the unnecessary things off of the screen. Now before we can move, we must first unanchor. Press F for the anchor button. Then after that, hold SHIFT so that you can go up. And hold the control button to go down. The button to move forward and backwards is W and S. And the button to turn left and right is A and D. If you want to move the cinematic camera left or right without turning, press Q for going left and E for going right. To control a camera, press X to look down and Z to look up. On the screen right now are all the buttons that you need to know to control the cinematic camera. You can change the buttons if you want to. That's all you need to know to make the cinematic camera. Well that's it for today's video. If this helped you, then feel free to leave a like. And if you like my kind of content, then consider subscribing to see more videos like this. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next video.